Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video lecture from Shomu's Biology. We've been talking about the different varieties of polymerase chain reaction. And in this video, I'll be talking about another such variety of PCR known as long PCR. Now long PCR is a simple variety. In this case, the idea of long PCR is to clone or amplify a long region of the DNA, a large length of the DNA. That's it. That's all about long PCR. Normally, the PCR amplification that we do is for smaller fragments of the DNA. But if we want to amplify more than 10 kilobases of the DNA, we can rely on this long PCR. Now, long PCR is effective only if it is done in proper care and in extensively difficult to achieve a better result. The reason behind that, as the target region of this, uh, of this uh, DNA is so big, uh, most of the cases, the primers anneal to some other regions, some unwanted regions of the DNA in the middle that will lead to the uh, unwanted product formation, as well as it will lead to the formation of truncated uh, fragment of the DNA, which we again don't want. So in this case, uh, if it's accurate, then only it is useful, but the accuracy level is very, very low for this type of PCR. Now let's look at the whole process. The process of long PCR works with simple, in this case we have to use a mixture of different polymerase enzyme for the process. Normally in a general PCR reaction, we use two primers, we use a target DNA and a TAC polymerase or PFU polymerase enzyme. But in case of long PCR, we need to use multiple varieties of this polymerase enzymes. Even if you use TAC polymerase, we use different varieties of TAC polymerase, hybrid enzymes, so that they can uh, do this amplification process for more than uh, 5 or 10 kilo base pairs, which is a large length by the way, because many polymerase don't have the capability of even uh, polymerizing that long length of the DNA. So we need to keep all these things in our mind. Now, now we have uh, different uh, hybrid polymerase produced which we can use uh, which has higher processivity rate for production of multiple segment of the DNA in the long PCR as you can see it here. Now there are some important facts about the long PCR I can tell you that the length that we want to clone using PCR is 5 kb to 20 kb and the accuracy is very low as you can see if we give you the score of 18 it's only 3 very very low. Specificity by sensitivity ratio is not that much good and the robustness is average and the carryover prevention is nothing there. So in a sense long PCR is not that much very important to look through because for amplification of the DNA or gene fragments more than 10 kb long there is other approaches known as cloning. We can always do the cloning thing right. We clone DNA fragments for that big. We don't use this amplification processes. But cloning is more complicated than this long PCR. But if you can do long PCR in an accurate way, in that case, it could be a good idea or a better idea. So that in a sense is a long PCR. I hope you understand the video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.